Good day everyone! Welcome to TLE class! Today, our lesson is Workplace Hazards and Risk. What is Occupational Health and Safety or OHS? OHS refers to the legislation policies, procedures, and activities that aim to protect the health, safety, and welfare of all people at the workplace. It is a planned system of working to prevent illness and injury at work by recognizing and identifying hazards and risks. Many organizations implement an occupational health and safety management system as a fundamental part of their risk management strategy to address changing legislation and protect their workforce and other persons working under their control. As a competent manicurist, your goal is to give the highest professional nail care service to your clients. Thus, all occupational health and safety procedures should be observed at all times in a nail salon or even in your own all services. Here in the Philippines, we have procedures, practices, and regulations in OHS formulated by the Department of Labor and Employment. The Occupational Safety and Health Standards was formulated in 1978 in compliance with the constitutional mandate to safeguard the workers' social and economic well-being as well as his physical safety and health. In every workplace, hazard is inevitable. That is why it is important to know the safety procedures for every workplace. Employers have a general duty to ensure the health, safety, and welfare of their employees, clients, visitors, and others who may be affected by workplace activities. Accident preventive measures are within the control of the management. What is the difference between hazard and risk? Hazards mean harm or adverse health effects on something or someone under certain condition at work. While risk is the chance or probability that a person will be harmed or experience an adverse health effect if exposed to a hazard. A hazard is something that has the potential to cause harm, while risk is the probability that a hazard will cause harm. Storing toxic or flammable chemicals in the salon is a hazard. If they are left on a work surface in a salon where anyone can misuse them, then that is a risk. When working in a busy salon environment, it is vital that you always work to minimize the risk of any hazards occurring. In the example, if the chemical was stored in a locked metal cupboard, the risk would be minimal. Health and safety procedure is the responsibility of all persons in the beauty service industries. You must identify the hazards where you are working and evaluate how dangerous they are. Identifying hazards and risk means looking for those things at your workplace that have the potential to cause harm. This includes the following consulting with salon employees, conducting a worker survey, inspecting the workplace, and ensuring that the information supplied by the manufacturers and suppliers is regularly updated and made available to all in the workplace. Common Hazards in a Beauty Salon There are many hazards present at beauty salon that deserves your attention. Use this guide as a starting point for conducting a risk assessment at your facility to correct potential hazards and keep your clients safe. Electrical Hazards Many of the electrical appliances used in the beauty salons can create serious health and safety risks, particularly in wet conditions. Damage to equipment increases this risk. Electrical shock can result in electrocution, burns, and injuries from falls. As a qualified electrician to check all pieces of electrical equipment in the workplace annually or as often as possible. Chemical hazard 
These are substances used and or produced at work that have the potential to harm the health and safety of people at work. Health effects of some hazardous substances include skin irritation, coughs, asthma, sensitization, poisoning, and cancer. Good ventilation can get rid of the fumes and chemical smell that builds up in a salon. Use appropriate personal protective clothing or PPE. Fire hazard As a beauty salon staff, you must be aware of and trained in fire and emergency evacuation procedures in the workplace. An emergency exit way will be the easiest route by which all of the clients and staff can leave the building or salon safely. Biological hazards refers to biological substances that pose a threat to the health of living organisms, primarily that of humans. Microorganisms live on skin, in food, and dirt are easily spread between clients and manicurists, pedicurists, and are easily transferred by contacts with unwashed hands, soiled equipment, or contact with blood and body substances. Nail salon workers can be exposed to biological hazards if they come into contact with infected skin, nails, or blood from a co-worker or client. Diseases that can result from exposure to infected blood include hepatitis and AIDS. Nail salon workers can also get fungal infections such as athlete's foot from clients. Ergonomics Manicurist, pedicurist use forceful, repetitive movements such as filing and buffing nails and holding uncomfortable positions for a long period of time, thereby increasing risk for musculoskeletal injuries. Paying attention on how you perform this task can prevent many injuries like lower back, neck, wrist, and shoulder pain. Manual handling of material and tools Lifting and moving heavy stock materials and working at poorly designed workstation can cause injuries and muscle strains. You need to ensure that you lift the delivery load in the correct way. If the load is heavy, ask someone to help or split the box if you can. Here are the things that you should do on how to minimize the risk that caused by common hazards in a salon. I hope you have learned something today. See you on our next lesson.